Hi, on this Excel on Mac video, I'll show you how to create a dynamic drop down list. So, what does that mean? Let's say, for example, I have a category one, category two, and I want to create a drop down list that changes when I make a selection. So, right now we're on fruits and it says apples, but let's say we have vegetables, and my secondary drop down list, I want to have this show my vegetables, not my fruits here. And it does. So, I can say, I can select lettuce and it will let me select it. If I change this back to fruits, now my drop down will have just the fruits in that particular category. This is actually pretty fairly easy to create and let's see how we can do it. I'm going to do something new here. We'll call we'll create a new category. Take these control C to copy. I'll just copy down here and just paste it as values. Go and paste Paste values. And let's say we are going to do a category of cars. Here we'll say, let's say we have a car type. And it's either an American car or a Japanese car. And control C to copy, we'll put the American over here. And we'll put Japanese, control C to copy, control V to paste, Japanese over there. So some American cars could be a GM, it could be Ford, it could be Tesla, and Japanese cars could be Toyota, Honda, and maybe Nissan. Right. Now I need to associate a field name to these arrays, these lists, right? So I can select that and go under formulas under divine name or create from selection or I can just put it here. Uh, if I wanted to put it here actually I just need to select the two cells here and I'll type car type for there. So now if you notice when I so if I make a selection here you can see that says F12 but if I make a selection here it says car type so I have defined a name for that selection. Now I can also do it where I can go into formulas and create it from selection. When I click on that, it's going to ask me where do I want to create the names for? And I want to create the names from the top rows. So that's going to be the top row of each of these selections. Click OK. And you can see if I select this, that's going to take American there. If I select that, that's going to take Japanese. If I select everything, it's just going to take the cell number G11, right? So I have those names that are defined for that uh, row range or the, the list of cells there. After that's done, I need to create a, a data validation list. Go under data and select data validation, select data validation here, and I want the list. And the first source, this first category is going to be the car type. So since I define a name for these two values here, all I need to do is type car type. Click OK. And now you notice there's a drop down here. So it either is going to select American or Japanese. You may think, well, I need to just do the same for that. But it's a little bit different here because what we want to do is when once we select this, say, for example, American, we want this cell to say, look at the American and bring down these values. We just can't type something like equals to that cell. It's only going to bring back um, nothing or an error. What we want to do is use a function called indirect as part of our data validation. So I'm going to go into data validation, select list, and type equal, and use the indirect function. So it's I N D I R E C, open parentheses, and reference this cell. Let's use the dollar sign to reference the absolute value of that cell, A12 dollar sign 12. Click OK. And now let's delete this. I select Japanese and if I select Japanese this should give me Toyota, Honda, or Nissan. And I do have Toyota, Honda, or Nissan so I can choose from. If I change this back, if I change this to American, even though I have Honda here initially because I selected it, if I click on the drop down it's going to have values under American. So that's the way that we can create a dynamic drop-down list. So I hope that helps.
Thanks for watching.